Thank you. Hello. Hi. Two adults. And one child. And one child. Uh huh, that's me. My name is Fletcher. That's all right, thank, thank you. Bye. Bye. Which, where, which end are we going to go on? It's the Mornington Tourist Railway and the core organisation is the Mornington Railway Preservation Society which was formed about roughly 23 years ago um, after the rail motor passenger service disappeared uh, and following a, an unsuccessful campaign by local citizens uh, to try and preserve it. The feedback is terrific. I mean, they really love it. They, of course, they're all most of them are Thomas the Tank Engine fans, and they say, "Oh, look, it's a Thomas the Tank one." I said, "Oh, it's not. It's the wrong colour." We, and, but they, they love it. They love it. Anything. I've got two grandsons myself, and they just love coming down here and and uh, playing playing trains for the day. Oh well, yeah, my son's more interested in Thomas, so we thought we'd come down today and have a look at the old girl go along down to Mornington. We're waiting for the we're waiting for the horn. <laughs> or the whistle. This is what we call the staff. This is their authority to enter the single line section of the railway. There's only one of these and if we have this, this assures us that there's no other trains on the line. And this is our method of making sure we don't find other trains accidentally. It's a very clever system of safe working that's been used since the 1880s and works very well. Oh, I wasn't an engine driver, it's just been a hobby of mine since I was 11. Um, it's, a, it's an up and down sort of railway, not from, uh, big hills, uh, fairly easy sort of run. It's about uh, seven kilometres there and about seven back. And uh, we just have a nice little trip into the countryside. Well, we have about 70 volunteers overall uh, out of a membership of about 150 and those volunteers are in two different groups. There's those you probably see today who do work in running trains and they are conductors, ticket sellers, people on the station, people riding, driving the train. We have another big group of volunteers who do work during the week, the trade work, where they restore locomotives, they repair the locomotive when it needs work done on it, they restore carriages and they restore the diesel locomotives. We call that the trade group. Uh, well, see, I've been in the train since I was about two years old, so I thought, why not? Last year, I thought, why not come for just for a trip to see how much this has evolved. Uh, just a trainee fireman. Just, uh, I suppose, uh, from childhood, just interested in railways in general. Oh, I retired approximately two and a half years ago. Um, I was a sales engineer, always interested in anything mechanical, and uh, this seemed to be a interesting thing to get involved with. Uh, since I've been involved, um, I'm now associated with the track gang. A tough job, but uh, uh, we enjoy it very much. We get out in the open and um, we replace the sleepers and repair the rails and uh, just general upkeep uh, keeps us very busy. Well I can recall this being in Jubilee Park in Frankston and the kids, my children used to play on it and it was there for years and years and years and when Tom came and volunteered he says the train down here is from Jubilee Park. K163 was um, built, manufactured at Newport Workshops in 1941 and uh, it celebrated its 70th birthday in March this year. And we repaired it and actually had it in the steam when it was still sitting in the park and eventually it was moved out of the park and, and uh, to a temporary position at uh, Life Arts in Hastings. And in the forthcoming few years we restored in stages what was the then disused uh, line that we're running on today. My fireman started this morning at about 7 o'clock and started on a wood fire. Uh, 
to get the water in the boiler boiling. And uh, after that we change over to coal. And we're on coal now, we're running on coal. Uh, the coal boils the water, makes the steam, the steam drives the pistons, the pistons drive the wheels, and that's how we get along. the treasurer of the society. Oh, that's bad luck. Uh, well, somebody's got to do it, count the, count the money and keep the books, etc. <laughs> and also a volunteer on the on the weekends, you know, on running days. Not every running day, but most of them. And get a variety. I'm down here at Mornington today. Uh, sometimes I'm up, up at Mooradak. It runs on the first three Sundays of each month with uh, a few extra days and Christmas holidays and things like that. We run extra fundraising bits and pieces now and again but um, roughly I suppose we, we break even. It's a struggle to do capital works.